Okay, hey, so this is okay. Where I'm looking over there. Hey, this it's okay. You, and you I'm want to look at me. I do. Yeah, you want to look at me. Okay. Start over. I don't have to start. Like to me. Yeah. That's that's okay. Like like listen, nobody expects professionalism out of me. They okay. expect me to fuck okay. up. If they actually, if people watching my channel actually saw how much editing goes into one of my videos, <laughs> that's still fucked up. Like when I'm complete, when I'm done, yeah, it's still fucked up. And right. they're like, bro, you're getting better. You're getting, I'm like, you think this? You don't know how much I took <laughs> out, motherfucker, like, right? They're like, you know, I know you're struggling. Struggle? I thought I took out all the struggle. Yeah. I mean, it's still fucked yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. So, okay, so. Um, I'm here. I'm here in in uh, Palm Beach, and I'm with Tommy. With uh, I let, you're trying not to smile. Okay, with MSCS Media, and uh, should I not be banging? It's, you can bang. Uh, all right. Nobody gives a fuck. So, so uh, Tommy just started his own podcast, which is called uh, MSCS Media. He basically just started a started a, a YouTube channel, and Tommy owns a company that does uh, marketing. And I, I came down here to. I like that I can see myself. I'll I'll stare there. You know, people want you to stare in the camera. Like they're always yelling at me, stare in the fucking camera, bro. So okay, but you're saying that's cool. Do whatever right. you want. I mean, you're doing the whole Joe. It's the whole Joe Rogan thing yeah, where it's yeah. an interview. Like to me, I th I do a lot of my stuff, and I'm I'm really it's just me, and I'm staring at the camera. But yeah, I got it. If you want to stare at the camera, Matt, stare at the. camera. I want to stare at myself. Then stare at you. Stare, stare at your beautiful <laughs> self. <laughs> All right, so. <laughs> <laughs> um, so anyway, Tommy started a channel, and what I'm he I'm here to ask uh, ask all my subscribers. Like I'm gonna make his channel like a feature channel on my channel, and um, if love it if you guys would subscribe. I want to get him mon uh, get him monetized as quick as possible. We're gonna try and do some stuff together and work together, both of us, to um, basically to grow both of our channels at the same time. He's gonna help me with some marketing and stuff uh, stuff, and you know. That's that's what we're gonna do. So it's Tommy with MSCS Media. Yeah, MSCS Media. That's a tough one. So I'm trying to tell, and you guys should leave comments for Tommy to let me let me know let me know if I'm right or if I'm. Here's the thing. Like, could you, could you take it, Matt? If you were wrong, though. No, I could. I'm I'm fucking listen. <laughs> <laughs> if you knew, I've been. I was thinking about this the other day. I was like. Boy, you have just been fucking failing your way through life. You were I thinking mean, that to my, yourself? Oh, yeah. I was like, yeah. my life is just like one. It's just like failure, 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 failure. But, you know, I was thinking the other day that uh, I I did a podcast. This was six months ago. Somebody said something about some loser. Oh, fucking loser or something. I forget what it was. And I was like, but I love losers. Losers have the best stories. Listen, every guy I've ever met that went to high school and I graduated and then I, I went to college and I met my, my wife and we got married and I got I ended up becoming a CPA and now I work for Arthur Anderson. We have two kids and, and I, I, I teach the, you know, the, the, the softball team and, I, you know, that look, I'm not saying that guy is not great. Uh, God bless that guy. I envy that guy because he's happy and content with his life. OK, well, but here, he doesn't wait, have a story. Hold on, Matt. Though. You think he's happy. No, I'm saying I'm saying there are people that that's all they want. And they are happy. And what I'm saying is, he doesn't have a story. Yeah, his story he does have one. He doesn't have a story that you're going to watch a movie about. He doesn't have a story that you could build a series on. He's got an average life, and there's nothing wrong with that. I, I would love to be that guy. I'd love to be content with at, as that person. I'm not. I've never have been. My life was. I was never meant to be that guy. But you know, but God bless him. What I'm saying is, you know. Losers have the good stories. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. The guys that have fucked up. See, I would never want to be that guy. And, and all the respect to the nine to five and all that, but I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. Yeah, but I, I mean, I, I, I mean, I, yeah. Do you, do you, you think you, you could yeah. actually do it though? No, no, I tried to do it. I'm fucking yeah, miserable. I, I tried to. I was miserable. I was miserable wasn't even the word. Um. Yeah. Listen, I I got married and and my ex wife she was like. You know, she was nagging me. She was always like, you know, stop cheating on me. You know, stop, stop committing fraud. You know, stop being an asshole. I had to divorce her. <laughs> what, what was her name? She's got to go. Name? Oh, Kayla. Kayla. Yeah. Kayla. You got. Well, I, you got to go. <laughs> she's not letting me be a douchebag. Yeah. She's got to go. Um. So, uh. But yeah, like <laughs> losers have the best stories. Agree. But, um. So anyway, what, that's totally off the subject. The point is, subscribe. Uh. You know subscribe to Tommy's channel 
want to get him monetized. I want to work with him so that we can work out on each other's, uh, uh, like a work to help each other build our channels. You're starting off. I'm starting off. And we're going to do a, a, a few few podcasts together. We're going to do some stuff on Amadeo. Like we've been talking about what to do and how we can help each other. And one of the, the easiest, fastest ways to help Tommy is to get him subscribers, watch time, monetize. Because the moment he gets monetized, he's just going to start adding zeros to, to everything he's already doing. And this is one of the things he wants to do. I mean, he's already got, he's already got a, a, a marketing you know, company, so this should come good. The only difference between you and I's strategy is that you see, you're, you're in a position to do this and you don't see it. Like one, to me, like I would, I would name the I would name the channel after you, but you're not going to do that. That's fine because everybody yells at me too because I have inside true crime. They're like, you should just name it Matt Cox. You should. But I've already started the whole process, you know, and I, I can't really, you know. And everybody has their own way and their own opinion. You know, right. the, the content, the interest. Right. Well, I added my name person? to it. it yeah. It's easy to find my channel now. It didn't used to be. Yeah. But the other thing I was going to say is, is I was saying like, you should video you because Tommy's got like, a hot chick girl, a hot girlfriend, a new baby, you know, um, he's a good looking guy. He's from the Philadelphia area. He's got a, a, a interesting past. Um, and you know, and he's an interesting guy and in a more casual setting, people, I think people would respond, um, would respond, would totally respond to you, especially yell. Listen, I even talking to you on the phone, with, with Dominique yelling in the background and you're screaming and you know and it's not even that you guys are yelling at each other you're just both Italian and you yell a lot and you're screaming at each other and yeah you're, I don't know I, well, I'm like what's she yelling about I, she, I don't know she's just she talks to herself bro she talks to her like the conversations we've had about her are comical and, yeah. and you are comical you may not see it but I'm like he's got a girlfriend I, mean, I swear she's having she's yelling at him but I started listening and She's not. She's just walking around talking to herself. No, it was funny. One time we were on the phone together, right? And you called me and you said, do you have a kid in it? This is before uh, Gia was born. Right. You said, do you have a kid at the house? And I said, oh, no, that's Dominique. That's that's Dominique bouncing around, doing cartwheels. No idea what the hell she's talking about. You were like, is that a kid? And I'm like, no, I I wish I could tell you it's a kid, but it's a 30-year-old kid. I mean, not being a dick, but I I tell her to her all the time. You know what I mean? But, but I mean, it's, that, that now I got be, two kids. That would be interesting, though. Yeah. People would, people. What I'm realizing is that people want a glimpse of what's really going on in your life. I mean, some of the biggest channels are these channels where the guy doesn't like have like a a normal setup. It's just I forget what the one guy's name is. What was the one guy that was? Uh, he was in the shower. Yeah, and, and the guy got Casey. Uh, Casey something. He's got a ton yeah, of videos. Casey something. And, and he's, so. So Matt shows me this video of this guy in the shower. I mean, he's literally taking a shower with sunglasses on and a bar of soap. And the guy's got like a wazillion views. Yeah, he's. And now I'm I'm new to the YouTube scene. You know, I've always watched it. And my inspiration was you. Well, 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 no, no. But you first got me into it. I saw you doing it. Then I started getting, watching Rogan more. And then Rogan was really the setup that I liked. I really liked his setup. So I basically bit off of him. I mean. There's nobody above him. So I bit off of that. But then when I – and I watched him, um, Value Entertainment, which you were on. Right. He did a great job on you. And uh, and then you started showing me some other ends of this YouTube channel shit. And the one that blew my brains out was that guy with the sunglasses with the soap that just got a wazillion uh, views on it. Yeah, you know what's messed up is I can't find it because – um, but I am out of it. It's Casey. Why? Why can't I find Casey? Oh, I got him. I got it right here. Yeah. So basically, he does very odd videos that are are short of him showering, talking, talking really about nothing. But it gives a glimpse into. I hope that's not his actual personal life. But if it is, whatever. It is his man, personal life. Okay. That's his personal life. It's Casey. Come on, man. What Casey? Ne- what is it? Casey? Some Casey. God, I can't believe you. Well, gotta, whatever his name you is. You got to trim he, this he, shit because I, I'm all. He's up. funny as hell. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's funny. It's it's whatever. Casey something. I can't even because of the because of the channel. I can't. Uh, 
is it nesty or something anyway yeah he's 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 great he's got great short videos he shows his wife he shows his kid i'm sure there's stuff where they're arguing there's that people want to see that yeah and it's interesting the amount of views that it gets and it's, like, like i couldn't believe it how many fucking what's he got like 12 million subscribers i don't know the one he had, the one he had posted it was only like a day older and it had like three hundred thousand views yeah he has 12.2 million subscribers that's insane it's amazing. Yeah, no, I, no, it's amazing. Yeah, it's not insane. It's amazing. People love it. Yeah. I, I've had 10 guys tell me, check out his channel, check out his channel, check out his channel. I looked at it once, and I was like, I, I don't understand. what. It is. And then I went back, and then I, I realized, what I realized was, that's what I need to be doing. That's one of the things that made me think, you know what? I have to get out of where I'm living right now, because if I get into a decent apartment complex... I can do that kind of thing. I can walk around. I can actually set up a whole thing where I can video more. I can edit more. I can do regular, you know, regular podcasts. I can do video like vlogs where I'm, I'm bringing the camera outside. So you can be so diverse. So you can go from true crime to Matt Cox, the con man, to to the book, to the book writer, to going out with my girlfriend, to going out to your girlfriend, to walking around the house so right. you'd have all these different angles to I attack to get, i would have to get my girlfriend to the point where she would let me video her i mean literally the other day bro like i've been trying to video get her, her drunk every listen every i can't get her drunk first of all yeah she's she's no i don't she's never drank even even better uh, no I, I mean she's never drank around i don't think she would drink around me tell her it's food punch huh tell, tell her, her it's food i'm not punch. gonna get her dr- look that's a pit that's what she's doing on her day off fishing so that we're... I'll have a oh, she's, 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 oh, she's, oh she, look, bro, look, she's. Why? I mean, why? Look at look, bro. Come on, look at from the I mean the ass, the whole. I mean, she's got the curve. Why is she with you? I exactly. Thank you. That's what everybody keeps saying. <laughs> now nah, you're good looking. Um, she, how old are you, Matt? I'm 51. 51. She's 33. This fucker's 51. She can't believe it. 33, and she. I'd say you look 40. I got some good pictures of me. Uh, I bet you do. She. Uh, oh, what does she do? She's oh all listen all the every video I have of her is her going like this screaming and yelling at me. So the other I'm day, gonna take that phone and I'm gonna break it into a hundred pieces. This is a part of the thing. This is the thing. I'm telling you that like to me this is what you leave in because I was telling her yeah I need to do this like this guy Casey I need to do, and she's like okay okay so she listen she she puts up with me it's ridiculous she's just like you know you could tell she's. She's so frustrated. Is so, she on Xanax? No, she should be though. She, she, <laughs> I I feel bad for. Her. And she never talks, so she's a very quiet person by that, nature. That would be nice. She said, "Yeah, you know, you got." Well, that, I yeah. don't. I don't know if she can get a word in with you. So I don't she, know if she's quiet or if she can't wait, get a word in you know, with she you. She says, "She goes." Um, she says, "You don't understand." She's like, "I'm a scared turtle, and you're like a like a lion." You know, she's like, "I I you know." So, but if and you video accurate. her, but if you video her, yeah. Talk about fucking angry, bro. I So the other day, she, we were eating at um, Ford's Garage, right? Mm-hmm. And so I actually, I'm sitting there talking to her. I turn the camera on, right? And I'm like, right, right. So I don't understand. So I start videoing her. And as we're videoing, like, I can't stop smiling because I'm like, I'm fucking totally. Now, does she know you're videoing no. her? No. Oh, fuck. So I'm, I'm thinking, I'm fucking totally getting her, too. Like, this is, like, she's, she's, she's relaxed. She's talking. And she's like, well, do you feel hot? Because we were talking about COVID. And I'm like, I do. I kind of feel hot. I go, I do. I'm, I like, I do. And she's like, well, I mean, I go, you know, what's weird. I go, I can't like, I go, something's wrong with my mouth. And she goes, she's like, what do you mean? I go, I can't taste anything. Like it, it's like, and she goes, well, that's how it starts. She's no. like, I mean, you could, she, I go, you know, she, now, you is could she have into it. all that shit. No, she, she didn't really buy into it, but she does know that there is, there's something out there. Yeah, like, yeah, I, look, yeah. I, you know, it's 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 a bad. It, I know, nobody's even asked you this in all the ones I've watched. I, I want to know Matt Cox's opinion of this COVID shit. Oh, bro! If I if I this is it, the, the short the, the short version. I mean, the short version is it's a bad cold. Right. It's a bad flu. You know, and that's horrible. And in my opinion, yeah. And and my opinion is is rougher than most. My opinion is, you know, you wash your hands. You know, you wash your hands, you wear a mask, and you you hope, you know, you try and stay home as much as possible. You try and keep some social distancing, and you let it run its course. You don't cripple an entire economy. economy. You know, and, and I understand everybody's like, oh, well, there's whatever it is now. Was it 300,000, 200,000 deaths? Well, but you know the one thing with that, Matt? 
they, they say there's 200,000, 200, six deaths, right? Right. Well, how many, in my opinion, now this is my opinion, of those 206,000 deaths, I would bet you half of them were already on their way out. And this probably just put the icing on the cake. Right, I understand. It, so now it you're talking a hundred thousand deaths out of three hundred forty million people in the in the country. Here's the way I look at it. So you're saying, yeah. look, most of those people are going to die anyway. I understand you shorten their life a little bit, and you know, and and that's the problem is that that, in my opinion, that's a that's a harsh argument. But listen, but politically, but, what killed them? Well, Did the COVID actually kill them, or were they already dead? The COVID made it worse, but then they ended up dying of something. I just think well, there's so much political behind it. Well, I'm not even talking. I mean, I'm not necessarily talking about. Well, the political thing, what kills me is it's like like Joe Biden is running an ad that basically says that Trump killed all these people practically. Like 200. He read, OK, yes, but here's the thing. Someone has to make a choice. Yeah. First of all, I don't know that he made a choice because the governors and the, 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 the states are doing a lot of that, that, making those decisions, not Trump. But regardless, put that aside. He did close China. And okay. Biden was against that. Okay. Well, I mean, I don't, I don't know yeah. all the particulars. What I'm saying is this: so, if you had said, "Okay, we're going to just say people have to wear masks, they have to do social distancing, try and wash your hands, please try and stay home, try and do the things you can do to try and not spread this disease," and let's say instead of two hundred thousand, let's say it was, let's say it was two hundred fifty or three hundred thousand, let's say it was three hundred thousand, and it, it, it killed more people. Okay, fine. Well. So you say, oh, he killed the dude because he made the wrong choice. Well, wait a second. What if he had said, you know what? We're closing all businesses. We're going to have food lines and we're going to have the the we're going to have the military bring food to your houses. And we're going to have and he really restricted it. He may have been able to get it down to 100,000 deaths. The point is, no matter what choice you make, people die. Right. Someone has to make that choice. People it's going to kill weak people. And look, I got a 90-year-old mother. Yeah. I don't want her to get get COVID and die. Right, right. You know, what if I got it and I died? The point is is that you don't who knows how long it will take to for this country to recover from the economic damage that has been caused because, you know, they didn't want to let it run its course. I mean, you have to let things run its course. Agreed. And also you have to take into account also, okay, 200,000 people died. But now how many people turned into alcoholics, drug addicts, uh, divorce went up, whatever, because now they're at home, they're losing money, they can't pay their shit, so they turn to the alcohol, they turn to drugs. You know, so the effect of shutting shit down was just terrible. Yeah, it, it's 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 overkill, and, and the yeah, problem is, look, that's, it, that's it's true. harsh. Yeah. It, it's a harsh situation. There's no good choices. You make the best choice you can. You move on. Blaming doesn't fucking help anybody. Couldn't agree anybody that keeps, you know, oh, well, you this, you this. stop, stop. This was the choice that was made. Get behind it. Let's move forward. Blaming anybody that, that, that doesn't happen, you know, especially if you're doing it for political gain. It's like, come on, stop. Now, now you're standing on the back of, of people's deaths for your own political good. You didn't do anything. Yeah. You know, or you didn't do enough, or you did too much, or like, there's just no good. There's no good answer. It's it's just a tough choice. Yeah. Um. I think it's a bad, I mean, it's just, it's a bad flu, bro. Fucking 40 to 60,000 people a, a year die from the flu anyway. Yeah. I'm with so, you 100%. You know, it's a horrible flu. It might be 80. Yeah. Okay. So this is, you know, two and a half times that or, you know, whatever. It's, it's, it's bad. It's horrible. People die. That's what people do. That's yeah. what happens. Listen, my mom told me one time, she said, life is dangerous. I said, well, what do you, I, you know, she goes, life is dangerous. And I went. What do you mean? She said, well, nobody's making it out alive. <laughs> I mean, so I'm just saying, Yeah. you know, things happen. I agree with you. Uh, well, I was talking to a guy the other day, and he was like, well, what if I make the wrong choice? Because I actually have guys that, like, call me up and ask me my advice, and I don't know why. But the guy was actually asking my advice, and he said, he's like, what if I make the bad choice of this and this? And I did the whole what if you make the choice, th this choice, and it's absolutely the best choice and everything about it's the right choice, and you get in your car and you drive to the office and you get hit by a bus? Bro, you just, you can't worry about everything. Then was that the, the right choice? Look, you make the best choice you can. You go about your business. Bad things happen. You know, Gary, who was in here before, and he's coming in again uh, with all three of us. That's what he was talking You know, he's in the real estate business right, right. Uh, stock, and he was like, you know, these guys I run into, they don't ever take a risk. Yeah. And you have to take a risk because if you, oh, I guess you could live some boring ass life in my opinion and not take a risk. But if you don't take a risk and things, you never know. Right. And then you die and you're like on your rocking chair and you're, 
blue and white Hanes fucking nut huggers with a Budweiser eating a bag of chips with the, with a hairy belly. Jesus. And and that's how you go out. Or you take a risk, you fail, loser. But now you have a story. Well, what happened that you failed? What happened along the way? How'd you bounce back? Blah, blah, blah. And hopefully if you did fail or you became kind of like a loser for a period of time, you dug your way out of it. You got motivated. Well, you, well the, thing, the thing about being a loser, in my opinion, is, look, I think Walt Disney claimed bankruptcy like six times or yeah. something. You know, how many times did Sam, what was it, Sam Walton? Sam Walton, but yeah. A bunch of times. The guy that did the McDonald's, that did McDonald's. Like, all of these people, you hear these these super huge successes. Listen, if you really look at their story, they tried over and over and over well, again. Well, let's take a look at Steve Jobs for an example. Right, well, yeah, yeah. Kicked out of his own company. Kicked out of his own back, company, comes it, back with that Nexus or whatever it was, failed. Ended up going back to Apple and, yeah, you know, basically over. brought Apple back from the dead. Right. But, yeah, failed over and over and over again. But never gave up. Right. You well, know? Yeah, as long as you're, you know, it's like when you're in prison, like as long as you, you're still file, filing paperwork, hey, this always kills me. Like you would have guys file paperwork that just didn't have a chance. But the truth is, it's it kept them going. Right. Like until you just quit – and accept it. You haven't really lost yet. It kept hope, right? You haven't, but you haven't lost. Like yeah. as long as I'm fighting, I haven't lost. Yeah. You know, you know, what I'm saying if you're in a boxing match and you keep standing up and you keep fighting, you're not really, you don't really lose until you're knocked out or they call it. You know what people ask me when they they watch from your it's podcast? A bad idea, but and, a bad bad example. Yeah, but prob that probably a little Whatever. bit bad, but it's okay. That that's you. You know, I believe me, I'm no. People better. keep saying I'm smart. No, no, no. <laughs> you're a genius. But but no, you're a genius, but too genius for your own good, obviously. <laughs> but people see your podcast and everything, and they know that I've known you for like a year, you know. And they'll say, and they'll say, is he really? Do you think Jail did that to him, or, or was he always like that? And I said, I'm pretty sure he was always like that. Oh, I've always been a douche. Yeah, I said I don't think it fucked with him at all. I think I just became a little bit more self-aware. Yeah. As opposed to like I remember when I first got locked up, and I was reading articles and these. People are calling me this and saying that. I was just like, what the? I was like, that's not true. You know, I would really bitch and moan about it and just complain. Like, you know, they, they said I was a, you know, I was a, a, a greedy sociopath. And they said this. And they don't, you know, and it's like, you know, stop, bro. Stop. Yeah. Get, you know, get a, get a hold of yourself. Yeah. It's, it's pretty accurate. If, <laughs> if 40, if, if everybody's saying you're an asshole, you're probably. An In other asshole. words. The only thing that changes was you kind of accepted Ex things. Yeah, accept yeah, it. I, mean, yeah. I don't have a choice. Everybody's saying it. <laughs> yeah. it's got to be true. And then you start thinking about it. You're like. But I'm, yeah, okay, I'm am okay that. with. But I'm yeah, okay with me it. Me too. So hey, I heard, I've heard a lot of the same stuff with me too, and, and now I take it as a compliment. I say fuck it. Hey, so I, I mean, you don't have to. I mean, like you don't see that right now. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. I didn't even realize yeah. that. Yeah. I thought you were still going to see a part of it. Okay. No. Yeah. This actually looks good. Yeah. Yeah. We changed up the Y view a little bit. Matt's suggestion. Thank you. I like it like this. We're not going to use the TV. What the hell? You do know you see the chair, the different colored chairs. Yeah. Why don't you get this? You have two of these. Right. How come you're not using it? You didn't I, swap them the both? One. It's just a different color. Okay. I don't know, know if you want to match them. Well, I w th they were supposed to be black. They sent blue. Well, no, but now you have two blue ones. Why right. don't you have a blue one there and a blue one here? Well, I could have done that. Yeah. <laughs> but I, but I, w I was getting ready for Gary, too. So. Oh, okay. All right. I'm not, I'm not really worried about a chair. As long as it's comfortable. Well, yeah, Matt. Uh, yep. Yeah. Did so you want a mirror, too? I'm so you want oily, too. <laughs> fucking oily. And... <laughs> this fucking guy. So, yeah, I'm going to get an apartment. At the end of this uh, month, I got a... Uh, hey, you said you were looking at apartments, right? Did you find anything interesting? I found or... two, mm -hmm. and I've been, like, struggling with, like, which one, you know. And so the thing is, there's just no cheap apartments. Yeah. There's just no cheap apartments unless you want to live in uh, When Gary comes in here, I highly recommend you talk to him. He does all of Florida. He, well, he does nation. Well, he's got contacts on our states. But when he comes in, say, I would talk to him. I'll talk. I mean, I'll, I mean, yeah. I mean, I'll try and figure something out. If I had a room that was twice as big as my spare room that I live in now. Yeah. Twice that, which is basically about the size of the apartment I'm going to be getting, by the yeah. way. Yeah. Um, then that's all I need. Yeah. Like, I'm not looking to entertain. I'm looking to have enough room that I don't have to jump up, climb over my bed to get from one side of the room to the other and trip over tripods, and that's what I'm looking for. Well, that would make sense. Yeah. So, you know, and if I could get a space like this where I could interview people. Yeah. 
this is this is way it's it's nerve wracking trying to do a little podcast by yourself, a vlog, looking in the thing. Yeah, that's nerve wracking, especially when you know what it could be. Right, right. Yeah. And I'd like to interview guys, you know, about their criminal stories. I think that would be cool. I think that's, you know, especially because I write. So, ooh, sorry, as opposed to me being interviewed by other people. Yeah. I, you know how many times I've gotten there and they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, I know your story. I know your story. And then halfway through the interview, you're like, I'm like, you don't know anything about me, bro. Like, what did you do? Watch 10 minutes of a two hour video and you think you know my story? Like, you're asking me all kinds of ridiculous stuff now. And not just that, like the Vlad one. Yeah. You just jumped five years. This guy, yeah. jumped, like, he went back and cut out a bunch of stuff. Like, there was, he's like, okay, you so gotta hate this that. happened. You got to hate that. I, I hate it because they're not getting the full. You misled me. Right. You misled That's me. That's what I was looking First for. First of all, just say no. Like, I've had guys say, yeah, no, I want to actually learn it through the interview. Yeah. Cool. I got gotcha. you. I'll just kick back and let you let you let you go. But if you say no, no, I know the story, you know, and and you're you you're acting like you're going to prompt me along, and you don't know the story, and then it just completely screws it up. Yeah. Uh, which was like basically that Vlad TV interview was horrible. Yeah. Um. What else? What else? I love the way I I I turn this video all about me. Yeah, you know, it was nice. You see the way I did that. Like we were going to talk about you. We're not. Anyway, I'm going to stand. That's all. <laughs> What's up with the baby? Yeah, it's uh, it's great. Uh, I like to. I like to. I, it's great. I, 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 I like to. Your girlfriend's going to watch this. Yeah, I'd like to come back in a year, but uh, yeah, okay. maybe when it stops crying and screaming. Uh, you know, awesome. like like text me when it's done crying and screaming in the middle of the night. Text me and I'll I'll come back. <laughs> rough. I gotta get killed for that one, but that's rough. Who cares? Yeah, so uh, I'm doing the marketing. I got a marketing company. I do contracts, SEO, um, build websites, all that other stuff. Before that, I had an engineering firm. I have a company called MSCS Media, um, and I do uh, marketing contracts, SEO optimization, um, build websites. Uh, all kinds of different uh, deals within the contract. Sometimes like a three-year annual where everybody that I bring to you, I get 30% for three years. And then after the three years, they're all yours. But if I bring them to you and you didn't do anything to get them to you, I get 30% of whatever you're making off of that person. I have that with an accountant and a couple other things. Um, and now I'm doing uh, the YouTube channel thing, which initially inspired by you to look into it and then joe rogan really set me off i'm like you know this is pretty cool i want to do this, something different uh but prior to that i had an engineering uh firm and the engineering firm was great it was successful i won an award in 2019 for palm beach uh, i did some things with the breakers and a bunch of other places uh, but where that went south was is that I was doing it and I was getting the jobs. Right. You know, I'm making the calls. I got guys around me that are ma helping me make the calls. I had a script form of what to say, a lot like you. Like, you know, you kind of learn to know what to say. Right. You go into meetings. I close the deal. Now, I can't swing a hammer. Okay. I can't put a nail in a. If I try to hammer something, I'm going to hammer myself. Right. I'm going to miss. I'm terrible. I can't build anything. Um, so I, and I got all my engineers off of Craigslist, all retired guys. Um, or some that just were looking for working on the Craigslist. That's where I got the hires from. So at first it was one price for, for an example, a pool. Okay, maybe 15K to me. To get a pool done, I charged 25. Well, now we kind of blow up. We're getting in the Palm Beach Post, this, that, the other, to make a very long story short. Now those same engineers, structural, civil, geo, all this shit, general contractors, now they feel entitled. So now I go back and I say, okay, we have a pool to do. Well, well, Six months ago, it was 15K. Now it's 22K. Same size, same area. And I'd say, well, how the hell is it 22K? I just paid 15 for the same thing. Well, you know, this, that, the other. Now I'm not stupid. What happened was they felt entitled as if the other 20 jobs that I had basically subcontracted to them, they did the work to get it. They forgot that they were sitting at home barely paying their bills with a degree right. to do the engineering, okay? And I got the job, but now because they did it, they felt that their value was up and it just turned into a headache. And then I no longer had any interest. And then I went to the media, got the contracts with the SEO. And now I'm pretty much obsessed with the YouTube and putting all my time into that. And with that, I'm trying to make it diverse where it's criminals, 
It's just interesting stories. It's I always forget the name of that. I just did Funko Pops, Funko Pops, whatever the hell yeah, it's yeah. called with this guy Tommy. Funko Pez will blow your mind when I put that one up on my channel. It's crazy what these people do. I mean, it's an unbelievable like yeah, whole a, clan. Well, it was the same thing. Like, we were talking about the um when you were telling me about that, we were talking about how I was like, I, I know a guy or I know a kid at the gym that it's like him and four or five of his buddies, they basically just wait in line all day to buy like Nike tennis shoes or something. And then they buy them and they sell them on social media. They, you know, they buy them for whatever, $100 or something. And then they sell them for 200 or $300. It's just ridiculous. Like this is, this is their whole job. Job is just getting in line, buying shoes, getting back in line, buying shoes, getting back in it's line. It's unbelievable. And they'll go to 30 stores to get that one shoe. Right. It's the same thing with these Funko Pop things. They're seven ninety nine, fourteen ninety nine. I guess if it says something special on it, maybe it's fifty. But then it sells for three, four hundred. And they will go to seven targets, seven game stops to get these things. Wait line just like for the Jordan shoes or the Adidas shoes or whatever. I mean, it's a whole thing I didn't even know. But everybody that I had asked that had kids, I said, "Did you?" Because I knew he was they coming all know in. What exactly. What I it said, is. "You ever this Funko Pop shit?" And they're like, "Oh yeah, my daughter's obsessed with them. My son's not. what the fuck." So he comes in and this fucking guy is dead. You know, I'm going to put it up probably in a couple of days. By the time, this will probably be up before that. But, I, I mean, it's fucking crazy, this shit. So I'm just building a diver, diverse channel, um, you know, taking influence from you and some of your tips that you're giving me that, I mean, you've been all around the fucking country doing a podcast. So, I mean, that's just what I'm trying to build right now and just make it, getting the best content that I can, interesting people, and then, just learn from it as I go and just try to keep it interesting and get you down here as much as I can to get your narcissistic ass here, uh, yeah, which you, I enjoy. Yeah. Well, I understand. It's, it's, I'm worth it. Um, what I was going to say <laughs> is, uh, yeah, you, you do have like a diverse bunch of guys. Like I'm thinking the only people I can know that are interesting are like all criminals, but you got a bunch of guys. You got that guy that, what was the guy that made, how much money did he make on like, what was it? Was it Bitcoin or something? What did he make? So I had a guy that on the timeshares, no, no, the guy that made like a couple hundred thousand dollars trading stocks or something. Oh, okay, yeah. So I, I had a guy, uh, Brandon, in. Right. Okay, he, he had a back thing, went to medical marijuana, and fixed his back. It's a whole long story, so I'll post it up on my channel. Uh, so th he was standing up, cutting hair, and the COVID hit, and, you know, I mean, obviously that killed barbershops. So we had $1,800. He started studying the stock market. Now he just got lucky, you know, and – Tesla did a one to five split. So you buy one share, you oh, get yeah. five. So the 1800, blah, 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 middle of August, it shoots up. He makes 68,000. Now he could have pulled out, said, okay, I made my 68,000 off of 1800. I'm done. He took a risk. This goes back to the risk. He took a risk. He took, you know, maybe 10 out to pay his bills and shit. Put the other 58 back in because the one to five was still active. Took that 58000 or whatever the amount was. This is in the video. And he did that. Now, August 29th, it shot up like crazy. It just shot up like hell. And he got 302000 And in the, I didn't believe him. So I got his deposits. I, I made him bring in the whole shit. I put it up right. on the screen. And he really did. And, and he did all this in a matter of about two and a half months. From studying it, blah, blah, blah. Telsa hits on the one to five. Boom, boom, boom. Hits mm. on about three hundred and two thousand was deposited, right into it like a there's like a card with the stock. He kept one hundred and twenty thousand in, bought more Tesla, some Apple, uh, and some other ones, airplane shit, drone shit, you know, just fucking around. But it, it was really crazy. Did he do well on any of the others, or were they just no. basically now? No, no they... not, not yet. He okay. didn't lose, but he didn't. Yeah, yeah, it's just you bought it. Yeah, I mean, it's, it, it's it right. at, so at this point with him. Or with the stock, I guess it's kind of like a, a, a waiting game. Yeah. You know, so if he had his money, he can fall back a little bit. Now he's just got to be patient. And he is a patient guy. So I think cool, he'll, he'll do all right. You know what I mean? I don't think, I mean, I hope he does, but I, I don't see him hitting another 300K in a month. But I mean, who knows? Yeah. But right. he did. It was very interesting. Yeah. So, you know, it's everything from that. You know, uh, I call him Wall Street Gary, you know, yeah, stockbroker, yeah, yeah. crazy guy. Uh, stockbroker for 40 years in New York, real estate, REO, all that. But he's an interesting guy. He's not just a stockbroker. Uh, real. Hey, Matt, uh, yeah, I have properties in uh, Boynton Beach and West Palm and blah, blah, like, you know, we're like a, like a yeah, yeah. boring statue. He's got a whole personality. He's really an asshole if you 
He's an asshole. Right. But he's not really an asshole. Like, yeah, yeah. if you don't know him or you don't have a sense of humor, you're going to be like, this guy's a real prick. Right. Kind of like you. Yeah, yeah. Um, You know, but he's just a funny guy and he's cool and he's got a good personality and, and he knows his shit. So there's a lot of education with him, too. And and he's in it to, at this point, he's older. So, like, I had him in, you know, and he really broke shit down. And he's not in it really for the money anymore. Like, he kind of came in just to, like, kind of help people. He's mm-hmm. got a good heart. You know, he wasn't trying to sell anything. So and so then then you have the crime people too and everything else. It's just a diverse. Thing. Right, what was the guy that was it? Peptides or something? Yeah. Else? Then there was uh, Paul from Great White Peptides, and he. You see, know, I have watched some of your stuff. Yeah, you're I like, see. You don't yeah. really watch. You know, you don't You haven't watched any stuff. I have watched stuff. I, yeah. I don't watch like the whole interview because it start. You guys, you start talking about. So when you guys were talking about the peptides, yeah, you didn't realize this. You're not explaining like, oh, yeah, yeah, you cut it with ethanol or whatever you guys were. Oh, yeah, you're naming chemicals that I'm like, I don't know what cut it with. I don't know what this means. Like you understood it. So you guys are going back and forth. But I immediately was like, I don't know why he's mailing the stuff off to somebody to do this. Then they, he gets it back and he said, I mix it with this. Then I do this. And you're like, oh, yeah, the such and such. You were like, yeah, that's the goal. Or you said that's the yeah, that that's the. You said, yeah, that's whatever. You were basically yeah. saying, like, that's that's the way. Now you had the good stuff. That was definitely That was like it, the gold mine. Yeah, right. And, yeah. and, and I'm sitting there going, I have no clue what you're talking about. Right. You know, so I, so at that point, I kind of was like, okay, I, I don't understand. I can't follow it. I don't understand. And I certainly don't understand how you're making, how he's how he's like, you know, you got like, you got like 60 bucks in it. He's like, right. you're making 30 grand or 40 or whatever it was. Right. Ridiculous. So let me go back to that. So because he, he was under time limit. Uh, to be down here. Oh, okay. You know, so um, it's broken into 10 parts. There's 10 parts, so four are out. So as you get to six, you know, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, right. it goes back to that, to why it was. So, like, that was kind of like a brief summary, the first four or five. And then the second five are more of what you're asking. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's just a real diverse channel, and, and uh, you know, I appreciate you helping me out and, Hopefully I can help you out too. Yeah, definitely. So I mean, are we? You want to say this because you kind of edit this, right? So yeah, you might trim it down if you want. Don't want to have to edit too much. Um, but it's up to you. Whatever, whatever. Yeah. All right. So. <laughs> all right. So that's it, right? So. What, what, what is it? Well, so it's 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 hit the like button, um, subscribe, <laughs> leave a comment, leave subscribe, a comment, subscribe yeah. and hit the bell. You know what bothers me? Is that most of the views on my channel are are like it's like eight percent subscribers. So most of it's the algorithm telling people to watch the video. Yeah. Um, and which means that basically people aren't being notified. So they're yeah. they're subscribing, but they don't actually put the bell on to be notified. I didn't even know that there was a bell. Yeah, there's a bell. Hmm. Yeah, well, you're as bad at this as me as me. All right, so yeah, I'm you got to you got to hit the bell because then yeah. when you post a video, it, it comes up, up on their phone. And they're like, "Huh? Oh, look, it's it. Look, it's Cox, man." They hit the button and they can watch the video, or at least it, they know it stays there, so they know there's a notification. Yeah, but they don't hit the bell. So you subscribe, then I got a subscriber, but you never really watch the videos. Yeah, because you never really you never notified. You don't know that there's a video. <laughs> so anyway, hello. Yeah. <laughs> so all right, yeah. So subscribe. Hit the like button, hit the bell. Well, it's, it's subscribe, hit the subscribe, hit the bell, hit the like button, leave a comment, watch the video two or three times, including the commercials. Buy a t shirt, and I have books that are out. Buy a book. I have links in the description. So I'm, I'm, book. I'm, he I'm writes working. good books. I'm working on it. And he's got a lot of books to come out yet. I've yeah. read them all. Well, I, now, I don't know how many other ones you have, but I've read at least eight. You you've read some of the synopses too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I wouldn't say I read the book. I read the synopsis. The synopsis. Yeah. 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 Good. Amadeo's book's good. Yeah. And we're gonna do a podcast on that. Yeah. 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 Amadeo's an interesting character. That's yeah. so that's coming up. So uh thank you for yeah. having me, Matt. All right. I appreciate I hope this works out. <laughs>